Good evening. Are they giving self four quest answers? My Niska name is Squinhit. Um, the song we just performed was our welcome song, Luam Am, Fashtagada, well, Bug in the Wild, said which was composed by Samagat Vachkap, Jacob Nice. The next song we'll perform was composed by Samagat Haidt Mas, Chester Moore. This is Madzara Day. Thank you. 
Thank you. Our next song was composed by Galxident Peter McKay, which was translated by Sigadam Nak Nagatsaga, the late Mercy Moore. This is Lymph Smogget, Chief's Song. Our next song was composed by Samagat High Mass. This is the Ganada Challenge song. For this song, 
If you hear your tribe, we invite you to come out and join us in dancing. Canada, come out and join us. Los Kibu! Let's give them a hand.
Let's give the Lusky a hand. Let's give the biggest class a hand. Sorry, I'm out of breath now. Our next song is Lymph Mitigum to We Axe. The song was composed by Bach Gep, 
to honor Samagat Oye. Lim Midigum Suyax. Our next song was composed by Sigidam Nak Simgit Athlok Lorna E. Azak. For this song, when you hear your tribe, we again invite you to join in the dancing. This is Niluk Gubaganao.
The next song we will perform is called Gimmick Zokul Bagum. It was also composed by Sigidim Nak Simgit Athla Lorna
Before we perform our closing song, I would like to thank the community of La Clozap for your generous hospitality and hosting Hobie. I'd like to thank you all for sharing your time with us. Our closing song is Lusana Flask, Hosanna. We are the Givens of Forecrest Dancers. Thank you. And Please rise.
The Get One Set for Crest Dancers. Woo! Woo! We got a draw here before we call in Gingle. We're just excited for the draw that the cultural dancers are doing. This is the Lock Outs Up Cultural Dancers 50 50. They pulled in 1400 the prize of $700 right here. Due to the administrative cost, it's only going to be 500 to the winner and 200 to Andy. Yay! Boom! Watch, I'm going to draw my own Andy's name. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Everybody's related to you, Andy. Thank you. Kathy Dumau, 778-210-0438. Kathy Dumau. Are you in the house? Are you in the house, Kathy? Oh, yeah! yes. Kathy, you could go see Tracy. Just while they're getting ready, we just wanted to give a shout out to some parents that came down and talked to us that bullying in this room is not permitted at all. If you see bigger kids or other kids calling down other kids, please take the time to stop them and say, you know that's not right. As adults, we can all stop it in this room. So it's really important that you guys stand up against other kids saying negative things to other kids or calling them down or hitting them. We don't need any of that, okay? Also, there are a number of vehicles parked right outside the door. They're blocking fire lanes and other vehicles. If you can move them, we'd really appreciate it. Just so everybody's aware, while the Gingo dancers are getting ready, tomorrow morning starts at 9 a.m. with a continental breakfast. Then it'll be UHNBC, Prince George Traditional Drummers. Woo! Woo! There they are, they're still raving to go. Then we have um, E. Haya Hazdi, Smithers and Whippet. That's at 10.45. Then we have at 11.30, get lucked up. Lunch will be served at 12.30. Then it will be get Zagutla at 1.45. Get Damix at 2.30. Get Makai at 3.30. Then we'll have supper at 4.30. Then it will be get Winsif at 5.30. Gingolf at 7 p.m. Luckgalls up at 8 p.m. At which point in time we'll do the Hobie and the transfer of the moon at around 9 p.m. Just so everybody's aware, we're live on the LBG LBG Facebook page and we are also live on YouTube now. So there's a YouTube channel that's free for everybody and it's loaded with people. And a big thank you goes out to those that took in billets. We're almost there. We have four families in need of a place to stay tonight. If you can talk to our coordinator, Francine Stewart, we have four families that need a place to stay tonight. So without further ado, our family from the mouth of the river, the Kinwali cultural dancers all rise as they enter the the main hall.
Good evening, everybody. We are the Geek Teen Golden Cultural Dancers. We welcome you to our portion of this performance. Real quickly, can I get a Hobie A out of all of y'all? It's really good seeing everything back. Now, let's get this bread. The next song we have for you is Gin and Samagat. Everybody, pick one up.
The next song we have for you was composed for our village by Sir Margaret Hyatt Mass. It is entitled the King Cole Welcome Song. With this song, we wish to welcome you to our part of the performance. So we shall sing for you. King Cole Welcome Song. Where is the microphone, man? It's always a fun time going beast mode, isn't it? I watched all the groups today. You all did awesome. You all showed your heart. That inspires us to show our heart. The next song we have for you is also the Canada Challenge song. We call this a barnyard burner. It's a bit of a, a bit of a long song, but we invite anybody out here to come dance when you hear your tribe.
Canada Challenge Song.
Hello. Oh, man. The next song we have for you is Common Bowl. All right. Lach calls up, get ready. I have to do a bit of a dance. We still have a couple more songs left. My apologies, everybody. So I'm going to dance for y'all. Okay, now we have our last song, which is Wagum Gibbo. We'd like to invite you all to howl along with us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now that's what one big wolf pack sounds like. And now for the real ending of our program, we will be exiting with the David song. It's wonderful to be back here. We love seeing everybody. We hope you all have a good evening. But first, we have a speech from one of our subordinates, Mr. Claudie Martin. Thank you. Hobie! Hobie! I want to take this opportunity to thank Lakal Zap for putting on and hosting all of us for these next two days. You're doing a tremendous job. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of people, it takes a lot of manpower. So thank you for having us. And I'm ever so thankful for our young leaders, Sam and Darren. You did a tremendous job. You're doing a tremendous job teaching our young kids, seeing the young people involved. This is what it's all about, passing it on to the next generation that'll take over. Thank you very much to all our ladies that had a hand in helping, preparing all the regalia. That too is a lot of work. Thank you very much. And I hope that each and every one of you take your time in wherever you may be going this evening and when you come back tomorrow. Take your time, travel safe. There's been a lot of snow today and you will get there as long as you take your time. And again, I'm thankful for the community of Black Girls Up for hosting us. In closing, I want to say our heartfelt condolences from Gingolas to all those families that love, lost loved ones and those families that are hurting. May the good Lord keep his warm arms around each and every one of you. Hobie!
the game of cultural dancers. Before we call in the last group of the day, we have a quick thing to do here. Many thanks to our sponsors, Platinum Newcrest, LVG, Seabirds, La Mer, Bonnie Creek, Nish First Nations Health Authority, Skeena Resources, GHS, Ascot Gold, and Hazelwood. Thank you very much. A sex successful day one. We have a card draw here that a uh, lady did for a medical. She wants to draw it right now. The winner for this draw is Huey Woods, $560. Get in contact with Corinne Davis from Gingol. Hobie! I said Hobie! It's the last performance, Hobie! Please stand and welcome the host community, Lachkaltzap Cultural Dancers, under the direction of Samagat Duk.
Good evening, everybody, and welcome on behalf of the Luckgalds Up Cultural Dancers. It's awesome to have everybody back in our community this evening, and thank you all so much. Let's go put our hands together for all of our wonderful guests and all of our dancers. Let's go hear our drums for everybody, you guys. We have some special guests here from across the pond, so to say. And those guests have uh, been so gracious to work with Samalgat Nice Jaw and his house and Dr. Amy Parent. And we are excited today to call forward Shan Shante St. Clair Inglis, who's the head of collection services for the National Museum of Scotland. Dr. John Giblin and Dr. Amy Parent, Knox Zatwit. So it's very rare to be able to sing this song for a reason that is so new to all of us and for many members of Nice Joss House, a part of them was torn away when the pole was wrongfully removed from Ankida, and it was the pole of Tzatwit. We did a replica of that pole, and it's standing outside. But the other pole is going to be making its way back home. So let's go have a big drum and a round of applause for the fact that that pole's coming home. So one of the ways that we do things with people that have done right for us is that we sing the song of peace and we have them come to witness that we are singing a song of peace with the National Museum of Scotland, the Government of Scotland, and thanking them for opening their hearts and opening their minds to allow the pole of Nis Joth to come back to the Niskat Nation. So we're going to begin with the peace song by the Luckgalds Up Cultural Dancers, and we want the group to stand and witness the peace song. Why got?
So while the group's getting ready, we would like John and Shante and Amy to come up on this side. Matt, if you guys can wait in your line, just, uh, they're gonna come over and we're gonna ask that each of them come over and shake the hands of the Simgi Gat that witnessed the peace song between the National Museum of Scotland and the village of Loch Galzap. That was fun. That was a fun way to do the peace song. Hopefully they bring the totem pole back in a nice jet. Send the Simgi Get over to go get it in Edinburgh. <laughs> you guys will head over and get it. So there's a quotation from William Henry Collison in his book In the Wake of the War Canoe that for centuries, Ulican, the tidal waters of the Nass River has attracted tribes from all over. From the interior to hundreds of miles distant by trail, Indians and all of the people throng carrying all of their effects for barter on sleighs drawn by their dogs or pulled by themselves. As they generally started early in the year when the snow was deep in time to reach the river for the fish that was usually arrived around the middle of March. The Alaskan tribes, the Simshan, the Haida, all arrived in hundreds of canoes laden with their trade goods for barter to take part in the fishery. The Alaskan tribes, the Haida and the Simshan, in all turn fought to obtain control of the Olakan fishery, but the Niska occupy, as did the upper reaches of the Nass River, and were able to hold it from intruders the entire time. Ladies and gentlemen, Flak Sahe Sah.
So that song is a song. It's about the grease trail. When the men would carry all of their stuff over the trail, hungry and wanting to get to the Ulican grounds. There was a story in one of the books that was written in the 1800s of thousands of canoes heading to the Nass River. And guess what? Why do we celebrate Hobie every year? It's because of one little fish called the ulikin, the sack. There were many times when people anxiously awaited along the river's edge for the first catch of ulikin to come to shore, particularly when times were difficult and food was scarce. As the first boatload arrived, there was so much excitement. People were rejoicing and celebrating the arrival of their first feed. Just as the boats reached the shore, many young men would jump into the boat, removing their shirts and their upper garments, and then proceeding to shower themselves in sack, exclaiming, You're my savior, fish. You have saved us. Gwilk It's one of my favorite songs. Now another of our favorite, because it has to do with one of my best buddies, Tamson. 
In Niska mythology, it is understood that at one time all animals communicated with one another. After the Ulican led and spawned in the Nass River, they proceeded to return where they originated. As they made their way down the river, Ulican met up with the mighty spring salmon. And the Ulican asked the spring salmon, Where are you going? The spring salmon replied, we're on our way up river to feed the Niska. Ha! said the Ulican. You're far too late. We have already saved the Niska people. The spring salmon said, How could you? You are too small. The Ulican exclaimed, There are millions of us. Jai! <laughs> Once we start this song, there's two people on the front of the floor. And if they're aiming at you, you gotta follow them or else you're Jai. Jai! So all of you upstairs, 
when Doran was trying to make you dance around with him, you guys were really jai. <laughs> Means you're all clumsy, can't even dance. It's a fun song. So we wanted to uh, say a few special words to a gentleman that's just about to celebrate his 75th birthday. And he stands up here with us every night and comes to every performance with us and never complains, never asks for anything, and always is so proud to lead us. So I would love all of us to put our hands together and bang our drums for our leader for the last 20 years, Samalgat Du. even stopped us from clapping for him. <laughs> guys are supposed to clap with us, not follow him. It's a real honor to be under, under Bill's leadership because he brings us all together as a family and he inspires us to sing with one another and teach each other things and to bring the little ones up with us and have all of these young drummers and young dancers being a part of everything with us and that's because of his leadership and how he makes us all feel like a family. So thank you very much, Bill, for everything that you do for us. Okay, so on April 16th, last year we had our first annual Jai Jamboree here, and this April 16th, we're having the second annual Jai Jamboree. And we welcome you all back to our community center to come and sing and dance with us. So how many of you are gonna come back for the Jai Jamboree? If you guys can raise your hands so we can RSVP, that would be really good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we got to look up our catering numbers. Okay, um, and just so everybody knows too, this coming uh, September, this, uh, this dance group is going to Hawaii. And we're going to the World Pow Wow in Hawaii. It's a long paddle but we built a couple big canoes. <laughs> We're hoping to bring a lot of uh, sunblock in case we get a sunburn. But we're really excited about that opportunity too. And so we just wanted to share with everybody that we're gonna be heading to Hawaii in September. So, yep, if you happen to be in Hawaii in September, 9th and 10th, you could come and cheer for us. Be and if you happen to be tanning, please put on your summer regalia. <laughs> We're going to have to all make new regalia because we'll die over there. So one of the last songs that we always do before we leave is uh, the Nishka Common Bowl. So giving thanks as our forefathers realized that there had to be a higher power responsible for the abundant resources we enjoyed as a people in the Nass, Villi Nass Valley. All specimens of salmon, all annual, our annual Olican run, and the abundant wildlife species, all readily available marine resources, clean water, clean air, and mild winters. So let's give thanks.
So we're going to do the Luck Gulls Up entrance song, but we're going to use it as our exit, okay?
This group is going international in September. Lach calls up cultural dancer. Do the man. Before you go, we have one last thing to do for my whack Elton. If you'd please stand. All join me in wishing my whack a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elton. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Wack. 9 a.m. tomorrow, breakfast. 9 a.m. And if anybody has room for three more families, if you have any room in your house, please come see Francine. She's sitting right here. If you have a spare bedroom, spare air mattress, or a couch, hide a bed, come see Francine.